Welcome back. Uh, so in the last video I went and got all my stuff back. Uh, this time around it will be more about um, building myself a little base so that I can rest safely. I was going to start building here, but I am still fairly close to the spawn. I think I can still even see it from here. Yeah, there you go. Spawn is over there. Do I want to be so close? Uh, no, let's go. No, I'm going to go further afield. Actually, I'm going to go where there's some trees. And I've just noticed my health level. So I am going to run back to that hole that I just dug. Put up some walls. Very rudimentary. Everyone loves a dirt house. Nothing says noob like a dirt house. Uh, but that should keep all the nasties out. Well, at least most of them. I can put my furnace down right here. Um, I do kind of want to keep a hold of the duck legs, to be honest. So let's do this. I'll cook the raw meat. Um, yeah, not fast enough. Um, dun 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 dun. Manticore spine. What can I do with a manticore spine? I know it is useful for something, and I think that would be a weapon, but ant spear. Uh, no. Anticore spear. Okay. Well, uh, manticore spear it would be then. Eat. Eat. Okay, so I probably should cook some of the duck. Oh, right, I've got amphibian hearts. Frosted amphibian heart, you have to cook twice. One to defrost it and then a second time to actually cook it. If you eat that, actually, incidentally, um, it will knock off a health point, so don't eat those accidentally. It's not ice cream. And so now we can cook these amphibian hearts into roasted amphibian heart. Yummy. Okay, so I'll keep that on hand. Um, no, craft. Um, I'll make a spear another time. Um, boom. I think good now. So there we go. That's me nearly back to full health, and I'm going to go and look for a new location somewhere around this way so yeah as I said preferably somewhere that has trees although I'm not too fussy uh, ooh, what's this does this is this going to be an isolated little island that would be handy nah it's a bit too big Horsey. And night is falling. Great. Um, hadn't planned for that one. Well, I can probably take shelter in a cave then. Let's go spel Whoa, spelunking. Uh, I don't know how deep that is. And I don't have any sand. I was going to craft a falling light to drop into that chasm, but I don't have sand. Can I craft sand? Well, 
craft guide. Uh, does anyone know if we can craft sand? Sand. No, nope, that's a falling light. Yeah. Uh, that's the point. If I click on that, sandstone. No, you can only get sand from sandstone. So I'm going to have to kind of take. I'm not going to have take a leap of faith. That would be very um, how to say unwise of me. So let's see what I have here. Yeah, you know what? Plenty of dirt all around me. Might as well use it. Grab this coal whilst I'm at it. Dirt! And I think I can see over there that that is one big long pillar. Which suits me just fine. Because when spelunking, pillars are good. Right, let's add some light here. And I can dig one every other node. And holding shift, I can come down into the depths. Let's shed some light down here. Yeah, it's pretty deep. I think I probably actually want to go over there. Um, okay. Yeah. Maybe. Is that where I want to go? Down. Down. Cross. Okay, I can jump down there. Right. Uh, oops. Let's be lowered down into a chasm. And I don't know what altitude from sea level we're at, but I have a suspicion I'm still quite a few nodes above sea level, so I don't know how much um, how much ores I'm going to find uh, so far. So, cast a bit more light into here. Uh, it looks like there's not going to be much here at all. This is a waste of torches. I'm taking them back. Uh, what about this way? Green grass deep underground. I never figured out how how the render the map gen engine figures that one out. But you know what? Why not? Gives us a, a nice space to visit, in a sense. Uh, don't need to leave that one there. Where did I come in, Maya? Don't really want to return to spawn to then have to come back all the way out again. Okay, well, here's another exit. Oh well. Uh, still night time out. Um, I can never tell if the footsteps are just me or if there's something following me. Unfortunately, you can't use torches as weapons, but that could be an interesting thing to do. Thrust a torch at something and have a chance of setting it on fire. Ooh, something has caught wind of me. 
Come on. I can't reach him, he can't reach me. Whilst normally that would suit me, I would much rather take him out. Okay. Um, go east. Open plains. Not a tree in sight. Nothing for nodes around. Um, it's very disquieting when there's hardly anything around you. It makes it feel like something is about to spring itself on you. Ooh! Is this the seaside? I do like a good seaside retreat. This might be where I could be happy setting up camp. And it also indicates that I am low enough down that digging won't be quite so futile. Come on then. Yeah, you just try that. Die, fiendish beast. There we go. I'm happy with that. I think I'm going to set up camp here. Uh, doom, 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 doom. Ooh, I'm running out of planks. I'm going to have to find some trees somehow. Some oh well, there you go, pine trees. Let's go set up camp near the pine trees. It would make sense to yeah set up camp where there are good amounts of resources. And a little cave entrance and some iron. Perfect. This is where I shall set my home. Sunrise. That'll give me a bit of better visibility as well. Oh, and the grass actually drops seeds. Go away. And before I completely lose everything, I'm going to set home. There we go. Uh, nice. Good healing. Got saplings. And rather than strip this forest, I'll just replant. Hello, breakfast. How are you? Yeah, I probably should have uh, harvested the wool first, but I was also fairly concerned about getting this guy. There we go. Alright. Oh, another sapling. Um, so yeah, I'll build a home here and I'll join you next time to do that. Toodles.